Chicago is expansive. The beaches, the waters, tall buildings, there's a lot of forests around here, bike paths and running and everything like that, and you find your community here. My name is Matt Moy. I work in Chicago as a grassroots organizer, a lot in health policy. I've been in Chicago for almost all of my life. To me, Chicago is home. I was inspired to become a community leader um, by virtue of the fact of a little bit of frustration because everyone would always talk about doing things, but no one would actually take that action to kind of put it together. Community is important to me because it allows you to move and do things that you wouldn't be otherwise be able to do alone. It is a way to strengthen your voice. It is a way to find relaxation and work to improve your own mental health and physical health. And um, it's, it's a support system. The Everyone Outside City Project is a nationwide effort to make the outdoors more inclusive and more diverse. And whether you want to reframe what the outdoors is, whether you want to reframe what access is, Everyone Outside is trying to make sure that more people have that ability to get outdoors in any which way that they can. One more bun. Perfect. I know, like this one. Yeah. My dream for what the outdoor looks like for Chicagoans is I want to make it so that it reflects both the population, the demographics of the city, and that it's more accepting of other people. And so you don't have people who take second looks. Like you just see more people from different areas of the city, different cultural backgrounds, different languages coming together to eat outside, share their different meals, or you know, going on a walk in different woods. Um, and, you know, just having fun or just meeting up together to have their dogs play around. Just being outdoors is good enough. Chicago sits on the land of the Fire Council, which is the Odaba, the Ojibwe, and the Potawatomi. I think it's really important to pay attention to the history of the city. Um, where things come from, because where I grew up, you know, in my culture, you always got to pay homage to those that come before you, um, so that you're not always looking forward, but you always understand from where you come so you can appreciate where you are right now. If you see something and it can be changed to help other people, then go and make it, go and make that change. If you see someone in need and that you can do something to help that person, then do something to help that person. As you help the community, you're helping yourself. Thank you.